What's up everybody? Welcome to my XCOM 2 playthrough. I'm super excited to be doing this. I've never done a playthrough before. And of all games to choose, I'm, I've chosen XCOM. Why? Well, it is basically my favorite game of all time. I've put so many hours into it. I love this game to death. I could play it over and over. If there was one game I could play for the rest of my, my life, it would be XCOM. And that's why I'm doing this uh, for you guys today. Now, I have never played on the hardest difficulty. And that's what we're, exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be playing on the legendary mode. And it's going to be tough. I did play the first level twice yesterday and died both times. It is hard. Very, very hard. Um, hopefully, I don't make the same mistakes I did last night. You know, I, I was everything was going really well. And then one thing happened and everything just fell through the roof. Literally, everything fell through the roof and I died. Big shout out first off to uh, Christopher Odd. He is a an amazing, amazing player, XCOM uh, advocate as well. Um, he's, he's a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer that plays XCOM all the time. And I've been watching his content uh, for for two three years now ever since XCOM came out I've been uh, tuning into his channel and his work and he does amazing playthroughs as well and he's actually the reason why I'm doing this um, because he keeps me coming back to XCOM over and over he loves this game to death so if anything this is uh, this playthrough is a, a shout out to him Thank you, Chris. I also made you as a character. I know you're not going to be watching this, but I did make you as a character in this game in honor of your awesomeness and love for this game. So well, let's get things underway, guys. Uh, I'm not going to get into what XCOM is about. You'll eventually see for yourself. Um, basically, I'm just going to say one thing. It's a tactical strategy game. It's a board game. It's awesome. Let's get into it. New game. Now, I'm going to be playing on Legend mode. Uh, it's the hardest mode. I've never played it on. I've never played on it before until last night, and it was tough, as I was saying. I kept dying. I kept dying last night, uh, and and it's just really tough. I've always played on Commander, but we're gonna give Legend a shot. And Iron Man. We're gonna start without Iron Man uh, because I am playing actually, in fact, with over 300 mods. So if anything happens to this game. Um, and I need to load it for some reason, I can. Whereas if I were to enable Iron Man, I can't load anything. I can't save the game. Uh, whatever I do is final. And I don't want some crazy glitch to happen and all my soldiers die. So I'm gonna start with Iron Man. Now, I, through this playthrough, I will be running through the entire cinematic sequences for you. I've, I've seen them a billion times. I know the story inside and out, but for you guys, we're gonna, we're gonna run through the the cinematics so you guys can get a little bit of the story okay here we go we're gonna start with the Man. enjoy the intro to XCOM guys well we are playing with the War of the Chosen expansion as well basically we're making the game even harder because why not here we go accessing the feed now we're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go.
accelerated timeline you placed upon us, mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider, report. So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the Elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. guys that is the opening sequence to XCOM 2 hopefully you were able to follow that now that we've got a foothold it's time to take the fight to Advent we're heading into the city center to take down a public target something that will get people's attention neutralize any security forces in the area keep your heads down okay here we go the beginning of XCOM we have our first four soldiers here they are characters that I did not create. They're random. Now our mission today is called Operation Gate Crasher. Objective is to neutralize all enemy forces and plant X4 on the monument. I'm just gonna wait for this camera to zoom out so we know who we're dealing with here. I'm excited to meet you for. Hopefully I don't get you killed. 
Oh, who's this person? Oh, I don't know. I don't know any of them. Wow. All right. These are all brand new characters, guys. Random. No one that I made. Shockingly. I made a lot of characters. Here we go. I don't feel so bad if they die. I do feel bad because that's a lot of XP that would just be thrown away. But so I'm not gonna try to get them killed. But hey, it happens. Oh boy, we're in trouble. If I lose one, one person on this. So if I lose one soldier on this level, we have a fix on the target. Ugh. We have to place the X4 not good. At the designated position. Going it's, a, it's a far range. I gotta travel. Jeez. All right, here we go. This is XCOM, guys. Welcome. You'll notice, uh, you know, I have this character selected. Every character can perform two actions. And the first action and the second one could be moving. So anywhere within this blue line over here that you see, I can move and then perform another action. Or I can move anywhere within this yellow line. And that would consume two actions. And then other actions are down here. I have one, two, and three. I can fire a weapon. No enemies in sight, so I can't fire. I go on Overwatch, which simply means if uh, if I am on Overwatch and an enemy runs past my line of sight, I'll take a shot at them, and then I can throw a grenade, and that's how far you can throw a grenade. And anything that is highlighted red, as you can see there, gets hit. Vehicles are cool because if you hit a vehicle, even with gunfire, they have a chance of blowing up. Grenades will always blow up a vehicle, unless it's a big tank. Then it usually takes a little bit more than one, one bomb to blow it up. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to move Emily Jewel. And then we have... Who else do we have? Iris Vandermeer. Lucusa Malonga. And oh, On Lang. On Lang. On Lang. Nice. I like that. It's easy. Roger that. Here we go. Uh, okay, so I'm moving slowly because I don't want to accidentally set off a unit um, and get seen by enemies. By set off a unit, I mean I don't want a, an enemy unit to see me. So I am going to move a little bit slowly. Good to go. Here we go. Do I see anyone here? No one. Alright, where is everybody? Let's, uh, let's go down here. Are they down there? No, nobody. Okay. Weird. That's affirmative. That is affirmative. Yeah, so let's move right there. Enemies. There, there we go. Oh, that was a unit. These oh. guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. I have a feeling there's that unit that we just saw and then another unit right beside them. Cause that guy moved real quick. Let's see here. We're gonna find out. We're gonna see who do we got. We don't have anyone yet in sight. All right, who do we got from here? Closing on target position now. Still can't see anybody. Yikes. Okay. And how about? How about now? Copy that. Should see somebody. There we go. We can see one trooper. And I have 65% chance of hitting him. We're not going to do that, though. We're not going to fire this round. We need to scout. I am going to move up top, though. This is actually a very good position for us to be in. Yeah, I'm going to move up top because if you have a height advantage, um, then you get additional range or uh, your aim increases. So we have the three in that unit. Yeah, we're all, uh, Headed there now. I think two guys will stay up top. Two guys will stay low. Yeah, I'm gonna just rush you all the way up here. Running. And I'm just gonna rush you nowhere. I'm just gonna push Moving you up a little bit. Position. Oh, they're on patrol. Patrol. Talk about patrol. Here we go. 
I, I... It's a Game of Thrones reference. Oh man, I can jump down here? Yikes. I don't want to risk that. Yep. Just moving slowly, guys. Moving slowly. That's how you survive in XCOM. Do I have a side? I do have a side. Okay. We're gonna move right there then. Stepping off. Whoa, still can't see. Where are these guys? There they are. And there's the objective. You're near the target position. That's the objective. I have to plant the X4 right there. Blow up that monument. Uh she's done. You know what? Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, you know what we can do? We'll continue moving this guy forward. He's covered front and back. Done. He looks cool. I'm digging what he is wearing. Moving to designated coordinates. And then you... Iris, we shall maybe right there. And that's it. See where they go now. They're turning back. Okay, this is perfect. This might be a great opportunity to throw a grenade. They are very close together. Hopefully we can throw... And hit all of them. No. I have a feeling if I move... I'm going to startle another unit because there's at least two units in this first one. And I don't want six guys rushing me. And I am behind medium cover. I need to be behind high cover. Yeah, let's move right there and see what okay. happens. Okay, that's not bad. I can hit all three from here. This may be the time we strike. I am behind low cover though. And if these guys survive, that's very close range for a firefly. These do have an 86% chance to, sh to hit. Pretty high. That's pretty high this early on in the game. If you'll notice here, there's a breakdown. Aims 65, our standard aim. Height advantage plus 20, weapon range plus 1. We have 40% chance to crit because they are in the open. And we do plus 2 damage on a crit. So that could be anywhere between 6 to 7 damage for a crit. And we have 40% chance to crit. It's pretty good. I think I will take this shot though. I'm going to, oh, you know what? In case they decide to throw a grenade, I'm going to actually separate these two. A little bit, not by a lot. You know what? I'm not gonna separate them because, I'm not gonna separate them because I think we're in a good position here to open up and fire at them and I don't want to startle another unit accidentally just by moving. So these two will go on Overwatch. I'm not going to do anything with her because she doesn't have the best hit or best shot. I will throw this grenade right here. I'm going to see if I can blow up this light post. Oh yeah, I could hit all of that and the light post so they ha will have to move a little bit closer. They can't hide behind that light post. It'll be knocked out. Here we go. First action of the game. I'm drawing first blood, guys. Hopefully I kill something. Boom. Anyone died? No one died. That's too bad. I think one of them is burning, though. Nice. The one that's burning. Oh! Please kill. Yes! We did it, guys. That guy's gonna burn. 
Guy's gonna burn alive. I don't have the best shot, but the but he'll burn before he gets to move, and, and burn does, I think, what, one damage? One or two damage. So he's gonna automatically die. It penetrates armor, too. But just in case, you know, overwatch, and dead. There we go, two damage. For the burn, that's good. We got rid of one unit, flawlessly. Who got an upgrade? Or, th there we go, so this logo up here means they gained a level. Oh, Lang. Oh, Lang, you gained a level. Em uh, Emily, you didn't. Iris, you did. Lakusa, you gained a level. Okay. I reckon the other enemy unit is going to be right there. I have a strong feeling about that. Um, I should probably move the guys that are closer. Out. Yep. Activated. Boom. There they are. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Okay. That is a far firefight. Can these two see it? 65% chance to hit. That's pretty high from this range. From this distance, too. Yeah. No no range bonus, but we're still at the plus 20 height advantage. I'm going to take that. That's pretty high. Boom. Nail bone. Good shot. Nail bone. Happy. Happy about that. Now, if I tuck tail and run... They have to actually get a little bit closer to me. And I prefer that height advantage because I can't actually see them from right here. Moving to designated coordinates. And this guy is gonna stay. Yeah, see, I don't see them at all right now. So you're gonna stay actually you might as well reload you. We're gonna overwatch you. And then we're going to... I kinda wanna get this guy up here as well because this height advantage is working out. Even though it's low cover, the height advantage if we could be very aggressive, the height advantage will, uh, I think will do us, do us well. There we go. We're watching. Missed him. Okay, so we marked that unit. That means the opponent has a plus 15% chance to hit that target. Oh. oh, it took three damage. That's not good. Okay. I'm gonna move this guy here. Good to go. I have a flank. See this yellow? That represents it's a critical flank shot. It's a flank shot. And I have a 40% uh, chance to crit. I could kill that guy outright. Well, I have an 85% chance. Or I can blow, do damage to this guy and open him up. And I think I'm gonna actually take that. Or can I do it with this guy? This guy is a little further back. I'm you, what I don't want them to do is survive this round, run up here, throw a grenade, do damage to everybody, and then me fall through the ceiling. Like what happened yesterday. That would be bad. Okay, so I could do the same thing here. See this car th this uh, soldier doesn't have the flank, whereas this one does, so I'd rather I'd rather use the grenade on this guy here. Do some damage, get rid of that cover, open him up. Boom. So he has an 87% chance to hit. Can he hit anything? Nope. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna move you right there. You have an 86% chance to, to hit that target. I'm gonna take that shot. I'm gonna definitely take that shot. Let's see here. Fire weapon. Will you do it? Please hit. Hit the target. Nice. Out in the open. Damn right, that's how it's done. Let's see if we can not if we can crit this guy. Boom. He's out of there. Okay. So there is another unit on the table still. I know that because normally Bradford would tell us. I just spoiled it. We're green to go. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload. I'm just gonna take a turn to reload, go on Overwatch in case they happen to show up on our radar. Come get some. Sound like the Terminator. It's awesome. Oh, there's the other unit. We just saw them. Quick, quick, a uh, little quick peek was right up here. It was a sectoid. Sectoids are aliens that have mind control ability. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to stay on this level. I'm gonna move everyone this way here and just get ready to uh, to go forward I think um, yep I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do this and you can stay there yeah I'll overwatch you I'll overwatch you I'm gonna just wait a second or, or uh, a turn or two See if they happen to walk in this direction. Here they go. Boom. Luckily, we're all on Overwatch. Oh, missed. Missed. Got five damage. Good. At least you did all the damage. One more Overwatch. We got one more Overwatch. Kill a Sectoid. Kill a Sectoid. Three damage. You know what? We did a lot of damage to that sectoid. That's good. A bomb will kill it. It's really not that big of a concern anymore. We have two grenades left, I believe. Yeah, two grenades left. One for the sectoid, for sure. We need to open him up. Well, we know we're gonna use one grenade for the sector. So we might as well get that shot over and done with here. Kill that sectoid. Dead. This grenade. Incoming package for Advent Trooper. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can blow up that terrain. Good. If you're gonna say that terrain, I don't think I can blow up. But it's out of here. Oh, it's not out of here. Oh, that's too bad. Let's see if I could hit him with the shot. Here's hoping. Fingers crossed. He's out of here. Enemy down. Bam. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Thank Scanners you. Menus one five. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Thank you, Br Bradford. Appreciate that. Thank you. I will do what you ask immediately. Moving out. I don't know who this guy is, but he's crazy. He's wearing shorts, and he has a bunch of C X four on him. Not C four. Really? I'm not gonna run through that fire. If you say so. There are no more enemies, so I'm just gonna stand put. Uh, Come sure. Why not? Oop. Overwatching. Bam. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before okay. Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Come get some. I'm on it. Whoa, what happened? Covering now. Oh, I just missed the turn. Menace 1 5, we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted. Plant on the X4. Double. Guys. 
Mission complete. Flawless victory, as they say. We're out of here. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charges. Show Advent who's boss. <clears throat> I have a glass of water here, guys. Give me a moment. Okay, soldiers wounded. Oh, we did take one shot. That's right. Zero killed, though. Completed. We can take our first mission photo. All right. Let's check this out. I like that. Now we can edit each soldier, give them different poses. I do like that. That we can rotate them, though. Yeah, I like the way he looks there. I do like her just staring. What's this guy? What's this girl? Let's let's change her pose up a little bit. Sure, raised fist. Let's do it. Mr. Cowboy. I'm gonna change this guy's position. We're gonna rotate him. Boom. And then we're gonna rotate the last guy. Bam. Yeah, you know what? I like that. I love that. Okay. We can do that. We can background options. Map location. We can change the location too. Boom. I like that one. They're all pretty good. In the fire. I like that. Oh, I don't like that. There we go. That's a that's a cell phone background right there if I ever saw him. We can change our text. Humanity, you know what? Yeah, humanity's heroes. Yeah, we'll keep it. You know what? Might as well keep it. Right? Why not? Oh, I think our soldiers actually moved a little bit. I think Buddy back there moved. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna take that photo. Actually, what's, what frames can we choose here? Oh, I like that. Um, the footer. Yeah. Boom. Take foot, take photo. Done, guys. First mission. That was successful. Alright, guys. I will be editing out all that black because that's that's a long time to be waiting so we will have cuts in between these videos maybe I just need to get a better computer okay so let's see mission um, summary here successful shot percentage every shot hit that's great most under fire that's cool average damage per attack moved furthest yeah I like that Happy. No one died. It's been a while. It's been a while since no one's dead. An impressive performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. Okay, she's gravely wounded, Vandermeer. That's okay. She's gonna be out for 27 days. She's gonna be recovering for. That's a long, long time. Wow. Okay, but we could promote every one of these guys. Let's promote uh, on Lang here. Let's see. First promotion. What class do you become? Uh-oh. There's so many mods. Maybe that's what's slowing down. 
Ooh. Serving as our demolitions experts, the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Nice. Grenadier, good to get right off the bat. Launch grenade. This is the tech tree that the uh, grenadier can follow. You could become a heavy gunner, or you could be more of a explosions expert. Explosions. This is the one I need. This is the one I want. I'll probably do. Um, actually, yeah, I'll I'll do shredder. I know exactly the tree I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do shredder. I'm gonna do suppress. I'm gonna do halo targeting. Um, yeah, volatile mix. I'll do. I'll also do this one, salvo. And then, yeah, rupture. It's usually the way I go. It's a little mix of both. But halo targeting is, in, is important. Same with shredder. Shredder just shreds armor. You need uh, armor shredding in this. Cool. You launch a grenade. Who do you become? Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance Shing. capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Cool. Awesome. Welcome aboard, Ranger. I like that mask, that helmet that you have there. Slash. So, I already... I think I... I well, you know, it's hard to predict which direction you want the Ranger to take. Not too sure yet. Not too sure yet. All right, who do you become? Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield to be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Bam. That's too bad that you're going to be out for a long time. Yeah, I'll probably pick, do a hack or specialist. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing. Yeah, I'll, I'll do I'll do uh, a port call. Yeah. A portal call. Carry on. And who do you become? You are a... What are you? What are you? I don't even know what this is. Fire pistol, light him up. Wow, that's actually... What? I don't know what class this is. This is a new class, a new mod. Untouchable? You have untouchable and rapid fire. And you get those very early on. Oh my lordy. Oh, wow. Basically a ranger. It looks like a, a ra yeah, it's like a ranger class. Um, just reading real quick here. Shredder, you get escape and evade. Can see, yep, that's good. Wow, very much like a, uh, like a ranger. Yeah, we're going to do light him up, 100%. Actually, what was that? No, nope. light him up. Infantry. That's that's cool. Okay, you're an in infantry. Interesting. Okay, what do we get here? Times recover. Items recovered. Six trooper corpse. Okay, here's our home base, guys. This is uh. To the research labs. This is this is a Sky Ranger right here. All right. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device 
implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Awesome, Tygen. Thank you. I will send you more scientists when I can. He has new research for us. We can research modular weapons, hybrid materials, alien biotech, and experimental weapons. And they take about 50, this one's 15 days, six days, uh, hybrid materials, modular weapons. Yeah. We're just going to do modular weapons. I do find that area of research to be among the okay. more interesting. Okay. Well, let's let's see here. Available. Let's go to our army. Let's meet our soldiers here. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Who do we got? <clears throat> we have on Lang. You look cool. You're our grenadier. From what I've heard, the resistance has already seen a boost um, in recruitment efforts since mm -hmm. the word of the commander's arrival got around. They've needed a leader just as much as we have, and now they'll be expecting us to. Hey, look! I it's... make an appearance. There, there I am. I'm right there. Claudinator. Let's check him out. Things are just starting to get interesting. Let's let's read your bio. I'm gonna read the bio of this guy here. Okay, country of origin, Italy. My birthday. Probably shouldn't actually have my real birthday. People say Claudio lost it when he found out his family went missing. When he got home from work one stormy evening, he saw his house was a disaster. Furniture, home appliances, and his, even his children's toys were laying everywhere, broken. He walked slowly up the stairs to his kid's room and couldn't believe his eyes when he saw his wife laying dead on the blood-soaked carpet. No letter, no message was left that hinted where his son and daughter may be. All that was left behind was an Advent-issued knife with a bloody blade. Claudio knew what he had to do. Join XCOM and find his children. Cool. The Claudinator. Claws on his hand. Yeah. Pretty dope. I'm super happy the way he, uh, the way he turned out. Who else here? Who else do we have going on? Okay, let's start from the top. Let's read your bio. On Lang. Uh, on was, 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 separated from his family during the invasion. He wound up fighting his way across China, apparently surviving on his own for the past several years. That's it. Okay, so you're just a, a dude. Who did I make here? Oh, there's there's Jessica. Mad Bullet Brinder. Oh, man. You look awesome. You turned out really cool. Mad Bullet. Got some scars on your face. What happened to you, girl? Let's read your bio. <laughs> Jessica carries herself like a military veteran, but has been reluctant to speak about the details of her past service in Ireland. See, uh, what? CO, uh, Colonel, I guess, it, oh, CO Bradford note. Let sleeping dogs lie. That's funny. Jessica once fended off a horde of faceless beasts for one week while using only one gun and enough ammo to take, it, take down an entire army. Using her cutting speed and skill with a rifle, she was nicknamed Mad Bullet. That's her name, Mad Bullet. She she needs to be a gre like a grenadier that has a a minigun. That'd be awesome. Reptile. Another one I made. Looks pretty awesome. Basically reptile from Mortal Kombat. Let's uh let's see your bio here. It's hard to keep an eye on codename Reptile. Country's origin unknown, birth unknown. 
Its ability to cloak itself in the blink of an eye is enough to worry XCOM and Advent and Light. What we do know about it is that it can bleed out, but its fast healing factor makes it hard to keep down in combat. Studies have shown it shares DNA similar to those poisonous reptilians found in the Amazon forest of Brazil. XCOM needs to be an ally, needs to, an ally like Reptile, who know who knows the danger damage it could do if it were to side with the enemy. We don't know where it's from, what its motive is, or why it's helping the resistance, but we're thankful. Countless lives, including Colonel Bradford, would have been lost if it weren't for this creature. Very cool. If you're so hardcore, why are you only a squatty reptile? All right, our ranger. Let's let's meet you. What, who are you? Squire Emily Jewell. Born and raised in Denmark, Emily is something of a wild card with no formal training to speak of. She may be just the kind of recruit XCOM needs. Oh boy. Putting our trust in randoms. Okay. Your name. Iris Vandermeer, our specialist that is wounded forever. Word circulating among the troops is that Iris was actually a convict being held in South Africa until recently. Since her release, she's developed a grisly reputation for collecting trophies off enemy combatants. That's funny. What kind of trophies? Like Dexter? Alright. Lakusa. Crazy guy with the shorts. You are our infantryman. There are concerns among the resistance regarding speculation that several... Re Recent recruits may have actually been escapees from a high security prison facility in Dur uh, Durkongo. Lukuza is on the list of possible detainees, but at this point, we're not in the position to turn away skilled fighters regardless of where they're from. That sounds dangerous. Welcome aboard. Your name, Turai Olivia. I'm butchering these names, probably. Born and raised in Zimbabwe, to, uh, to, to, I can't even pronounce that. Turai, 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 yeah, Turai. It's something of a wild card, but no formal training. Okay, so these are just um, random characters that are generated here. You look cool. Your name is Claude. I like you already, Cruz. What's your bio? Raised in a remote community in Luxembourg, Claude learned the art of survival at an early age. Still instilled with a strong sense of self-reliance, he's eager to do his part to take back the earth. Welcome. Okay. And then these other guys, I'm not gonna bother reading. I'm only gonna read the basically the ones that I have made. I have made about 20. I'm gonna continue making more. Um, surprisingly, we only have what two of them. Myself and Jessica. So I can't wait to use Jessica in a match. Level her up. Hopefully uh, she becomes a grenadier. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's go to engineering. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Sweet. Nice to meet you, Shen. Okay. Yeah, this is where, uh, this is the center where she can actually uh, make things, items, weapons. Bunch of stuff. Okay. 
we noticed early on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip forward. You'll notice all these uh, squares here. The engines engaged. Um, these are spaces where I could actually build facilities. But now I'm starting to think so, for example, I could build a training center where I could train troops which would to, uh, aliens went through to, so much to, to isolate it in the bow. There's become really certain classes. Laboratory, um, that's something we're going to need right away. Power relay, so everything requires power to operate. So we do need these power relays to provide us an additional, um, additional, I think, what, like six power or something like that? Five power? I should know. It's been a while. Guerrilla Tactic School will definitely need um, soon. It does take 28 days to build. Uh, each laboratory increases the chance that a research breakthrough will occur. Yeah, I definitely want to build that. It's going to take 40 days. Um, wow, legend legendary mode takes forever. Normally that would like take six days. But legendary, holy yikes. Training center, 24 days. Um, yeah, I don't need the training center yet. I need the lab. Okay, I don't have any engineers yet, so I can't even clear the debris in any of these. So I need to clear the debris before I could do anything. And I could only uh, clear the debris in adjacent squares. So this one and this one. Because this is the only one that's free. Alright. We got a laboratory, laboratory being built. We're gonna go to the Geoscape here. Cut screen. Pen. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. You too. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. Thank you. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, mm -hmm. industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Thank you. Oh, Bradford. You are smart, handsome, and a We're badass fighter. We're in contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. Okay. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Okay, guys. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. There we go. So we're gonna check out this uh, this site, and it's gonna take five days to do. And reward is supplies. We're gonna investigate. Avenger plotting new course. Time isn't real time in this game. Commander, you'll notice here. Avengers remote scanning capabilities. The time, and you'll notice here how long it takes. Resources. To, uh, it's going to, to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. They just keep talking. They just keep talking. All right, so we're gonna start. So one day has passed, two days passed, three days have passed, four days, and hours. I think you will find our results have exceeded. Bam! Modular weapons research complete. Weapon upgrades available. Let's check that out. Magnetic weapons, unbarrel weapons, upgrade weapons upgrade available. Okay. We need we don't need magnetic, that's gonna take forever. Yeah, we need unbarrel weapons would be very nice right now. Um, we do need to start researching alien biotech. Uh, that will basically um, let us learn about aliens and advent and allow us to build additional things with the knowledge that we gain here. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Geoscape. Okay, so we're gonna go destroyed convoy. We're gonna go to this convoy for 54 supplies. Oh, there's another thing that we can do. To get more rookies, time to investigate. It's gonna take seven days. New Let's check that out. We have 150 bucks income. <clears throat> Current supplies is 54 dollars. And right here tells us what what we're uh, what we're in the middle of doing. Okay, let's. Uh, 
The scan. Commander, Here we go. As the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. So As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Okay, thanks. Okay, so this objective for the Skrill Ops mission is recover item from uh, Resistance Haven. Difficulty is easy. Reward is an engineer, Judith Elliott. We need engineers. It's an easy one. It's in East Africa. We're going to it. Confirm. Setting course for Sector 12, East Africa. Bam. Okay. We are. We're going to exit all you guys. We're going to start from scratch here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw myself in here. I'm also going to throw Jessica Bullet Brinder. I'm going to take the Grenadier because I like explosives. And we'll take... This is an easy mission. So let's keep that in mind. Um, infantry is very interesting. I want to know more about the infantry. Yeah, two squaddies and two experienced guys. I think that's fine. Or do I save the ranger? Do I take the infantry or the ranger? Let's take, uh, let's take the infantry. I don't know what kind of mission this is, so we'll just play it from a range, I guess. Okay, here we could actually select different items if we had if we had different items. So we're just our loadout. That's gonna be our loadout. We just have a ton of grenades. Maybe we could build items here. You'd be surprised how we can build a flashbang or a smoke grenade. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Let's take uh, let's take a flashbang. Did cost us fifty bucks. Now we have that forever. Just it, we, it's just not it's not just one time use kind of thing, and we're gonna actually put it on infantry guy. Yeah. Why I did that was because I want more kill potential on on squad uh, squaddies, so they have an easier chance to level up. Because that's an instant three damage minimum. So why not give them the damage and give him, since he's already leveled up and he's working away to other uh, other abilities, might as well get, just give him the, the, the flash flashbang. Secondary weapon, that's cool. I've never used this class before, so I'm excited. Check it out. <clears throat> okay, guys. Well, that's it. That's who we're going to take on our next mission. And... Yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait to unlock and not 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 necessarily unlock, but I can't wait to rescue new squaddies. Hopefully, they're characters that uh, that I've made. Hopefully, we get to see some uh, Curtis action in here, some Jake action, and uh, everyone else that I made. I made like a lot, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. Thank you guys for watching this first episode, this first playthrough. I'm um, glad that you guys. Uh, we're able to hope you enjoyed it and till next time. Thank you guys for watching Have a good one. It's gonna be a good good mission. Good, gonna be a good mission. Take care